teachers are the last people you want to talk to when you come out of the exam. You want to talk to your friends, you want to go home, and most of you get straight on social media. So when teachers want to find out what you thought of the exams, we also get on social media. And last year, oh, it was not a good place to be because the examiners asked some really, really nasty questions about those required practicals. Um, they change things around, they mess things up. The practicals that we did in class weren't the practicals they asked you about in the exam. Um, so, I have spent a lot of time getting into the mind of the examiner, reading large, long, long exam board documents and thinking, how? If I was an examiner, could I ask a really, really nasty question about this and try and throw those students off? Um, God, it's really weird trying to think of long, horrible, nasty questions to ask you, but that is what I have been doing. I have been sitting at my computer and typing and typing and typing and writing so many questions and they are ready. Four beautiful, amazing, fantastic books. There's a big, a thick one for combined sciences and then three for each of the individual sciences. And these are full of questions about the required practicals. How we can take the practical we did in class, change it ever so slightly and then ask you an exam question about it. How we can take that long list of maths things that you need to know and apply it to the required practical in a way that you probably hadn't thought of before because, well, why would you? However, I've been sitting around for hours thinking about this so that you don't have to, so that your teachers don't have to, so that if the examiners do, then you are prepared for this. I have done every single one of the practical. There are all of the videos available for you. So I know exactly what tricky things are gonna come up. I know exactly what health and safety things are gonna come up, exactly what the variables are, exactly the, the tricksy sort of things that could come up in an exam. And it is a large chunk of your exam. The required practicals are 15%. That is a massive, massive chunk of the exam. This 15%, this massive chunk of your grade isn't actually a lot of content and I've tried to cover it all in the books that I've written for you. I've tried to think of all of the different ways they can ask it, I've tried to think of all of the different things they can do. Now this massive chunk, this 15%, that could be the difference between you getting into college, you getting into university or you not getting into university. It could be the difference between a pass and not a pass. The difference between a four and a five, the difference between a six and a seven, or a seven and an eight. So these practicals are such a vitally important part of your exam that we cannot afford for you to skip over them. We can't afford for you to just think, oh yeah, I did that practical in class, I know all about it. Because there's so much more to it than that. You need to think about all the different variables, you need to know all the way the room changes, all the way the maths fits into it. But you don't need to think about that because I've tried to do all of that thinking for you. So, there we go guys, this is my, my labour of love, I'm going to call this like my third child, my fifth cat. Um, I've been working so hard to get these out and I'm ready for you and they're here. Ouch! This is why in some videos I have unexplained scratches.